So far, he used structures in this book and in this class. Swift comes with predefined structures for representing common types of data. You can define your own structures when you want a type that fits the specific needs of your program or app. In its simplest form, a structure is a named group of one or more properties that make up a type. Properties represent the information about an instance of the structure. You define a structure using the struct keyword along with a unique name. You can then define properties as part of the structure by listing the constant or variable declarations with the appropriate type annotation. The convention is to capitalize the names of types and to use camel case for the names of properties. Consider the simple declaration of a person structure with a name property structure name. The name is variable and it's string. For example, here you can define let first person be person and is a structure. The name is Jasmine and print first person dot name. So let us run this code and see what we have here. We're going back to our Xcode. Here I'm in the playground, we make some adjustments. And here you have the structure, which is a person. And then let's copy the rest of the code and see what is in the console. Remember that when you're copying from the book, it changes some of the symbols. So you need to make some adjustments. So when you run the code, you see the result, Jasmine. 